Uh, Brock, I guess uh, talk about how the knee feels and, and played some significant minutes tonight. Uh, I guess how's the knee holding up? Uh, it was pretty good, a little tired right now. Um, with a little ice and a little rest to get that up. Uh, how would you evaluate your performance? Um, pretty well. Um, kind of got uh, kind of tired at the end, but <coughs> other than that, so far so good. No brace tonight. You had been wearing one. Is that another sign of that thing probably getting back to 100 percent for you? Uh, yeah, the brace was to keep it, you know, what I'm saying? keep it warm, keep it fresh. But it was, yeah, the swelling it stopped swelling, so that's a good sign. Okay. Uh, it doesn't swell anymore. It's, just, it's a little sore, but other than that, it's, it's all good. All right. Um, it's another night. This team has shown so far that you guys are really balanced. I mean. You know, a lot of contributions from pretty much everybody that got in the game. Jamar, if you could just talk about that, how unselfish this team seems to be through five or six games, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, I think uh, everybody knows in order for us to win and for us to be a good team, we have to share the ball and continue to uh, count on one another. And I think we've, done, we've been doing a great job this far, and uh, I think we'll keep it up as the season goes on. Uh, do you feel like you guys are kind of clicking more? Uh, do you feel the chemistry kind of growing between you guys? Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think we're, we're learning from our mistakes. Uh, we're not gonna be perfect. Uh, we made some tonight, and uh, at, at these two practices before uh, Greensboro, I think we'll learn from them, and we'll continue to grow as a team. And we should be good down the stretch. Tomorrow, you guys seem to get a little bit better against Upstate uh, over the weekend, and then they put on a good performance against South Carolina last night. Um, talk about tonight's performance a little bit, and, and what this does for you guys moving forward. Um. First of all, it's a good win. Uh, we didn't play as good as we wanted to. And um, I think uh, any night, anything can happen. So we have to bring it every night and play hard. And I think that's one thing we learned tonight. Because even though we were up by 20, they still continue to play hard. And anything could have happened at any point during the game. There was a run toward the end of the first half. And then early, you opened the second, I think, like an 11-5 run, too. Against a D2 team, is it one of those situations where you feel like you need to push the pedal a little bit and kind of create some distance between you and them? Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, we just uh, had a little uh, pep talk in the locker room and kind of put a spark on us and we came out ready to play the second half. We had no injury in the first half and it was about coming out with energy, and intensity, like we normally do, but we didn't, we didn't do that in the first half, so we had to come out in the second half and play with some intensity. Okay. Brock, you guys seem to play with intensity uh, and, and good uh, continuity offensively, even late in the game with good discipline. Talk about uh, the team getting better about doing that. Uh, it's just something they preach every day in practice is discipline. Staying to your principles, staying focused no matter what the score is, no matter who the, uh, who the opponent is, just staying, staying disciplined to your principles. You've been doing. Uh, Brock, it looked like at times you really want to take it to the hoop, but, but you kind of hold yourself back a little bit. Is that the case? Um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm still nervous. I'm nervous in my legs, so I don't want to go get this one else. You took the charge, though. How, how, how did that feel? Uh, I felt pretty good. All right. <laughs> I don't think he hit you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, uh, not taking away, anything away from the Lenore Ryan or any of the teams you guys played, but you played some Division two, some lesser known opponents. Uh, tonight you did what you're supposed to do against those teams. But that, how much can you learn about yourselves against teams like that? Um, I say playing, learning, learning to play hard throughout the whole game, no matter what the score is, and not be relaxed and say, okay, we're up, so we're just going to relax and kind of cruise through the game. We have to play hard every single minute, every single possession, because at any time, like I said before, any time in this game, anything can happen. And uh, throughout the season, I mean, you're going to see some upsets, and if we don't play hard, it will be upset, even though we're playing a division two. It doesn't matter. Does it help in terms of building confidence? Uh, I think I think any win will build confidence, but I think uh, right now it's just a learning process, trying to build and find ourselves and see where we are to get better throughout the season.